Okay, guys, um, that's a video tutorial on how to use and install Maps Offline. I'm Nam, I'm the creator of the app, but and first I want to thank the creator of Mapdis. His website is in 7 aincom and he made Mapdis and ILM.app, which nearly makes the same as my app does, but creating the app was really fun, and so I want to introduce you and hope you will have fun too. So first we have to install it we go to installer there are two requirements we have to f have firmware 1.1.3 or 4 but I think in the next versions it will support 1 and 2 um, yes then you have to um, install first Jiggy runtime that you find under development so install it that's Jiggy is an integrated integrate um, development environments so that you can develop very fast and you have really wonderful people who made this so just try Jiggy out it's jiggyapp.com and yes now we come to our um, to maps offline my app today it was released so you find it under recent packages but normally you will find it under utilities so here maps offline and go on install it it's really safe, I have made something so you can trust me I, there's no virus or something like that yes so if we finished install it we go back to our springboard it will restart and here it goes, maps offline now I want to show you how to use maps offline to store your cache files so just go to maps and browse in your city around so just browse and the ca cache file gets bigger and bigger yes then you can go to maps offline and just save them type a file name in test file then you have to wait a bit because you have to transfer big um, files and then yes it could take a while up to yes uh, nearly one minute because we have to copy 200 megabytes if you have a big city or kind of that so and then you see two files they have the same name but don't worry if you restart it you will see that are two different yes and now you have two options you can restart them or if you if you trigger it, it will delete them. So tap, tap to restore, tap to delete, tap to restore, tap to delete. So now, um, yes, I want to restore my um, save file. So just make restore and tap on the file. And you have just to wait because he now um, wants to copy it. And yes, he successfully restored it and now you have your saved file again restored and if you want to delete any files because they are huge or kind of that so just tap to files to delete and yes tap them and so it has been successfully deleted also here he, he just don't show it that he deletes it but when you restart the app you will see that there's only one file Now I want to show you how to make the more comfortable one, the way to download the maps to your iPod. So just go on my site mapsoffline.wordpress.com and yes on the right side you will find the page maps offline, that's a how-to page. And there you will find everything how to make this app useful. So download map this on the right side. Yes, and then you will find a uh, hosting service um, which will host um, map this. So I already downloaded and unzipped it. Here you find it. It's a global. And then in debug, bin debug, you will um, execute global map download tool. So I already had it done. So go to browse. And if you yeah, now you can download the map. So for example, I choose Manhattan, New York 
and then you can choose on the left side on the upper left side if you want to use Google Map or the satellite on the hybrid mode but I will use the standard one and click on download the map now you get this this page where you can uncheck the tiles you don't want to download so just uncheck something you don't want to because if we want to have Manhattan then we will now uncheck Andy that's not Manhattan yes and if you made this then you can uncheck also the zoom levels because no one needs the greatest zoom level so I prefer to get um, the first the one zoom level um, yes then you have only 87 megabytes and with with the um, greatest zoom level you have uh, for nearly 400 so just check the, the greatest zoom level yes, and if you are ready just download it and now you have to wait there's a percentage from time to time there can be some errors because Google um, tries to block the traffic I mean you are downloading a very huge amount of data so just try many times and you will get the map if you have downloaded the map then you go on the upper right side to iPhone then you get your destination here and just click on process and he will convert the the images to an iPhone format and yes that's all so then you will have the file and you have to transfer it to your iPod so you will have to um, SSH to it your IP of your iPad and username is root, password is alpine and just log in uh, you have to copy it to um, private mobile library cache and then map tiles here you have to copy it so I don't have one but you know how to copy it and yes that is then you have just use maps offline and you're uh, you're ready so I hope you like this app and just come over my site and say hello. Bye.